you know, they don't like nice guys and then that's, that's the expression of nice guys finish last. But that, that's just simp. For me, they are simp. Why you you are best friend with a girl in the first place? A woman and a man cannot be best friends. So, st I don't know why, bro. Nice guy finish last. I don't think so. That's simps. A simps. Do you, do you stay nice with it? Don't be nice. Okay, you be nice with the, the woman that you're dating, okay? But why you be nice with everybody else? Be good. Be a good guy, not a nice one. Be a good guy, not a nice guy. Everything you're not probably supposed to go for, but uh, I like to take our little risk. But, yeah, I think I'm going to go out of my element now. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so we did get a few pops when you asked why are you single let's start right here your name and age and why you ended up popping hi i'm zola stone i'm 31 and i popped just because uh, i don't know <laughs> i'm single because just being in the entertainment industry is is just tough that's a deal you know breaker. i'm a recording artist and then i'm an exotic dancer on the side um, not a main thing, kind of too old. My body hurts at this point. So it's, it's not a every day. It's more the music side is every day, you know, but uh, you probably won't like that. So, okay. so you popped because you think he wouldn't like it. Just, you just said so. you, it just like you reminded just me it. like just dating in the industry. Bullshit. Go. Go. So is she someone that is your type though? Um, Probably not generally, but I did like your answer. So um, I appreciate your like authenticity. I've seen more about you than I did at that particular time. So um, like if we met, like, yeah, I would talk to her. Yeah, absolutely. And you're gorgeous, by the way, so. <laughs> Girl, you popped, you popped. <laughs> All right, name and those, age and why you ended up two, popping your those, balloon. Those two are one of the most garbage things. Let's this conversation, any boy. Sorry about this. Uh, I just don't like, like our Preference. And work out, you know, I just, I all right. It was a great smile. I pop. I don't think it's a like. It's not an interview. Just smile. Yeah, I don't yeah. think it was a bad question. Your type of part. And now. Yeah. So we do have two beautiful ladies left. Any other questions you want to ask them? Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you had an unlimited bank account, uh, somebody wrote you a blank check to do whatever you wanted to do with it, what would you do? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. This Start over here. Ask good questions. <laughs> um, I would probably, I, because I played sports, um, volleyball, so I would probably do a nonprofit for, um, you know, kids who don't have the ability to get to college and stuff and kind of create something so they can have the ability to go to college, get the right funding, get the right, you know, um, mentorship and stuff like that. Um, so that's what I would do for them. Really big with kids, so. <laughs> Let's go on over here. Okay, if you wanna go ahead and answer his question. Um, I would say first off, I would take care of my family and um, start a business, of course, and start a business for with my family as well. And significant other, of course. Um, yeah, I kind of like keep the generational, generational like foundation going. So, okay. okay. All right. Ladies, any questions for him? Do you have, oh, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> do you have children? I do not. Okay. That was uh, okay. Any questions over here? Do you like to have fun? Like, I do. are you spontaneous? Absolutely. Do you like to go outside? That's and the only go reason. To the I'm beach here. at night or something like. I love long walks on the beach. I said at night. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I just you know if I just like a fun person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. We'll be back for you then. <laughs> Okay, why did we end up popping? Um, I, I ended up popping my balloon just because um, the connection, um, I did want to actually get to hear you and no more stuff, but at the end, I just wasn't feeling the connection at the end of it, but very handsome and you got yourself going. Thank you. Okay, all right. Okay, let's go on down here. Are you a family person? Like, Absolutely. do you like to go to other people, like your significant other's family, and are you um, actually, 
um, do you interact or you just sit there? And I'm the uncle with the slides on at the barbecue. Okay. <laughs> okay. She's going to say, okay, let me bring you on up. Come up. <laughs> yes, girl. <laughs> Okay, so I'm really feeling the vibe. So, you know, I have my final question if there's no others. Okay, so is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and is it a yes for you for her? Absolutely. We got a match. I'll take this. Y'all going off. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Hi, uh, my name is Jeremiah. Jeremiah, how yes. old are you? I'm 34 years old. Okay, and what do you do? I work in telecom and I'm a real estate agent. Okay, now what are some things you like to do for fun? Yes, yeah, so I like to travel. I like to travel to Mexico primarily, and uh, I would love to find someone to take with me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And now what are some things you look for in a woman? So, uh, so like some of my deal breakers. Oh, no. What, what do you look for in a what woman? What do I look for? Mm -hmm. So someone that is very feminine, someone that is beautiful, of course, and someone that can cook. I love mm. to eat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you cook yourself? Of course. Okay. Of course. Okay. <laughs> now, what are some of your deal breakers? Some of my deal breakers. Mm -hmm. So uh, cigarette smoking. Okay. Uh, someone that may have uh, a kid. Okay. And... Uh, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, we did get a few pop balloons. Okay. Let's go on over there to see why they ended right. up popping. What's the okay. Balloons? Name and age and why no, you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Hi, Deja. What were the bullshit reasons? Deja, why'd you pop? Uh, the reason I popped, it was just initial attraction. Um, it wasn't there for me, and I do typically like uh, taller men, um, but you have very, very beautiful, striking okay, eyes. You have a nice friends. smile. So, outside of that, that was pretty much all. Thank you. It's pretty Now, is uh, Deja Marie someone that's your type? Okay. Uh, not initially. However, uh, past the initial look, I could possibly love her personality. Okay. Yeah. So, you said not initially. Is there something specific or? Uh, just the way that uh, I, I usually like a little bit darker women, if that makes sense. My black queens. <laughs> I understand. All right. Well, thank you. Let's go on over here. Okay. Your name and age? My name is Misha, and I'm 27. Um, the reason why I popped, um, I personally like darker skin men. Okay. So, it, um, but you beautiful. I mean, eyes are amazing. You look amazing. And I can tell you, you got your stuff together as well. Thank you, Misha. You Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Now, is uh, Misha someone that's your type? Yes, okay. for sure. 100%. <laughs> yeah. All right, perfect. Thank you. Let's go over here. Okay. Your name and age? My name is Miriam. I'm 34. Okay. And Miriam, why did you pop your balloon? Older. Um, it's just the height, honestly. Okay. I think you're very handsome, but you, you have beautiful eyes. But just, just the height. Okay. I appreciate I like that. Thank you. He, he looks, he looks taller than you. Yeah. <laughs> taller than me is about six, uh, you know, like six four. Oh, so you wanna, you, know? you wanna climb a tree? Yeah. Thank okay. You. Okay. <laughs> I got, I got, I got you. I got you. <laughs> all right. Now is Miriam someone that's your type? Uh, not at all. Oh. Nope. Okay, yeah. why not at all? Uh, she <laughs> is, uh, she's definitely a beautiful woman. It's preference. It's, it's just uh, not yeah. initial attraction at first. Okay. Yeah. That's there. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go over here. Yeah. Yeah. Your That's name and age. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. I'm 31. Okay. And Zola Stone, why did you pop your balloon? I'm not the best cook. <laughs> um, okay. And I dated a real estate agent before, and... All it just kind of clashed because you know, I work more in the entertainment vibes. music industry. Okay. And so he was just kind of trying to change me this in a way. Astrology and stuff like so that. I know that I, I shouldn't, you know, judge that. Maybe try again. But I don't know. I just don't have a good experience. Like, no, that's all good. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. No, she's someone that's your type? Yes, for sure. Okay. Yeah. What well, makes her your type? So she's uh, very beautiful. I love her eyes. And she's melanated, so that's definitely something I, I love about her. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you have beautiful eyes. Too. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and then we did get one more up here. I've always kind of wanted to build like something more and really give nice. back to the fans that the come truth. out. Technology is now. Your no, name and age. I'm Jojo, and care. I'm 30. Okay, and Jojo, why did you pop your balloon? Uh, I know he said his preference was darker skin, and so I was like, okay, I'm light skin. But um, 
I, that's my preference too. So we kind of looking the same right now. Right. Twins. Right. No, no, it's all good. Eyes and everything. <laughs> you guys do like favor each other yeah. a lot. <laughs> Maybe related a little yeah. bit, right? <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I know we just said y'all look related, yeah. but is she someone that you take? My sister. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not really. I'm going to uh, say that. And uh, otherwise, beautiful eyes. Thank I you. love the hair. I love the tattoos, and she's beautiful overall. She just uh, wouldn't be my type because we do look really too similar, yeah. to be honest with you, but <laughs> yeah, okay. overall a beautiful woman. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. All right, so we do what have one balloon left and popped. Okay. Any questions for our lady here? Yes. Okay. So uh, from your, pa your last relationship, name one thing that you did wrong and one thing that he did wrong. This guy got deep questions. I'm not answering that. Okay. Fair enough. I'm not going to answer that only because we're starting off new. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, I don't want to bring what was in the past into something I'm starting new. Mm -mm. That's fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Queen. So, uh, what were you trying to get out of that question? Well, so, you keep trying to help her better understand. Uh, just well, trying to see where oh, her head oh. is at and see if, if there was like any issues I could kind of foresee mm. in, at the beginning. Okay. And you know, yeah. every relationship, women, it's both queens, partners, queens. you know, I'm not saying it was just me, it was just him, it was both of us. Um, okay. But I'm not bringing something old into something new. Okay, that's fair enough. I appreciate that. You are very beautiful. Thank I would you. have loved to take you out. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're handsome, too. You're always popping on these questions, girl. <laughs> hey, do you want your balloon back? I do not want my balloon back. Oh, well, look, can I ask a question before I... Well, let me ask a question. Is yeah. it going to lead to you getting your balloon back? It might. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, so I am a believer, and my relationship with Christ is very, very important. Yes. What religion are you? I'm Christian. Okay. And what does your relationship with Christ look like? I either, if I don't go to physical church every Sunday, I watch it on YouTube. And uh, every single Sunday, I have to get some type of intake of, uh, of Christianity. Okay. Of religion. Yeah. Okay, I'll take my balloon back. I'll take it back. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Back. I'll take it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's let's continue this conversation up here. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. All right. Any other questions for him? Do you have any children? No children. And where do you see yourself in the next few years? I intend to retire by the age of forty in uh, the country of Mexico, and have properties all around the U.S. that are being rented out, and that passive income is going to fund our lifestyle. And where do you live? I live in Las Vegas. Okay, so I do stay in Florida. Okay. How do you feel about that? We can work things out offline, and we can see how things go later on. Okay. I'm down for that. I'm down for that, too. Yeah, let's get it. Right. Hey, dude, really I'm glad we got the little back. Okay, so is it going to be a yes for you for yes? <laughs> and is it a yes for you for her? Of course. 100%. We got a match! Yeah, this is, I'll take I think this. this. Is the best and you guys so can far. go on up. Let's give it up for them, y'all. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Uh, my name is Julius. Julius, how old are you? Yes, I'm 34. And what do you do? Uh, I mean, I'm an OTR truck driver. Okay, yes. very cool. Yes. Uh, what are some things I like do for fun? Uh, for fun, man, I do a little bit of everything. I like to play pool, uh, bar hop, comedy clubs, sip and paint. Uh, skate rooms. Okay. Uh, shit. I know it may not look like it, but I love to eat. So different <laughs> restaurants, trying out different foods. Uh, yeah, every year I go to a different. I mean, I go to Laker games every year. So okay. uh, yeah, you know that's. They're gonna that's pop the balloon it, because yeah. he didn't right. look at the eyes. What do you look for in a woman? I'm gonna say, obviously. Oh, what I look for in a woman? Yeah, I gotta dig deep in my soul for this one. <laughs> All right, look. So I'm looking for a woman that's has not given up on love okay. that still believe in the process. I mean, the concept of falling in love because, mm. you know, uh, let's be honest, like every relationship is not perfect. So, you know, every relationship, you have your ups and downs. So, you know, I'm looking for a woman that's going to stick around when we having our downs, mm. you know, because like uh, as long as I'm not cheating on you or putting my hands on you or disrespecting you in any type of way, any disagreements we have, we could get through that. Okay. So, you know, yeah. Uh, I'm looking for a woman that knows how to think for herself and that's, and, and that's, I'm sorry, uh, and that's not going to uh, 
follow behind a crowd. You okay. know, that's not gonna alter her opinion just to appease the crowd. So you, you know, a woman that's gonna, gonna stand on business. Uh, okay. Man, I'm looking for a woman that's genuine. You know, a woman that's kind. Okay. Eleven. <laughs> now what? Are, you no, gonna but, keep going, huh? Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> now, what are some of your deal breakers? <laughs> deal breakers. Oh, uh, I would say a woman that does not know how to take accountability. Mm. She doesn't uh, know how to cook. A woman that doesn't keep Same. her house clean. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, if you got kids and your house is a little messy or stuff like that, like. That's cool if you got toys around, or if you got laundry piled up or something like that, that you just ha haven't got around to doing it. Okay, that's cool. But I'm talking about like, if I go to your bathroom and behind the sink, it, it look like it ain't been, I mean, behind the toilet, it look like it ain't been touched in months. Like, that's a that's deal breaker. Different. Like, you know, IG. Okay. Because, yeah. All right, Specific. so we do not have any pop experience. balloons. Oh, we don't? No. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, switch it on over to you. You know what? Let's start off with you having uh, to ask the ladies a question. Question. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like a three in one, maybe a four in one, depending on how I word the question. But uh, how long have you been single? Uh, how long did your last relationship last? And name one thing he did wrong in that relationship, and name one thing you did wrong in that relationship. Okay. We'll start here with your name and age and the answer to this question. My name is Jojo I you, and I'm 30. You the script. Um, my last relationship was a while ago. A while ago? Many, like, many years. Is it a time frame? Um, it was like 2016. 2016? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and what was the second part? Uh, how long did it last? How long did your last relationship last? Uh, we were together for like seven, eight months. Seven, eight months? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong in that relationship? Uh, I think both of us kind of had bad communication. Bad um, communication, okay. But what ended it all was like distance. We distance. ended up moving away from each other. Yep. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. okay. All right, let's go over here. Name, age, and the answer to this question. Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Um, I've been single for two years now. Two. My last relationship lasted collectively about three years we started off as friends um, we built a very deep friendship with each other we became best friends and then that evolved into a romantic relationship gotcha. um, the reason we ended we just were not on the same page I think um, we wanted to he wanted to deal with me for quite a while but mm -hmm. once it we actually met he wasn't ready to fully commit in that way he still kind of wanted to do his own thing um, and at the place in my life, I want someone that's serious and committed and is wanting to settle down and build something in depth, like you stated. Mm -hmm. um, so because of that, I just didn't want to pass any more time um, with something that he wasn't 100% in with. Got you. And can you name one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong? Um, I would say his lack of commitment okay. or just his lack of discipline um, because we went over what our boundaries were when we started and with us being close friends initially um, I had a clear understanding of what he was looking for I thought he had a clear understanding of what he was looking for um, but when it came down to just having that full commitment and not being able to go out and do what he wanted to do um, that wasn't sitting right with me so I think that was the main thing that ended our relationship mm -hmm. um, as far as me I think um, I would take accountability in that relationship there were certain things I seen in our initial friendship that should have been considered red flags and um, you know small things like that or going out come on that was probably got you yeah okay. she said more alone Your name and age and the answer to his questions. My name is Misha and I'm 27. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My last relationship was about a year ago and it did last about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna start with me. Um, something that I could have done better was let go. Um, sometimes when I'm so invested into something, I don't know how to let it go. Um, so when I had saw the signs and I had saw he wasn't interested, he the they, he could have stayed tell you as long as he you, wanted to, but he just didn't hear. go. Not but I not, saw he wasn't woman interested, woman you so I should have let go. Um, and that's where I hold accountability for. Something that he could have done better was um, don't commit to something if, like, I wanted marriage. 
um, and he kind of went along with it. And um, it just, oh, okay. that's not what he wanted. He wanted to go out, he wanted to party, but he wanted to kind of play um, the husband, but that's not what he wanted. So. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, okay. Your name and age and the answer to his questions. My name is Miriam and I am 34. My last relationship, um, I think it was like 2018. I'm not sure because it's been so long. <laughs> um, we were on and off for like 10 years. Um, the qu last two questions were. Oh, okay, last two. Oh, you so said you said 2018? Yeah. And, and then basically, you, uh, just name one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong in that relationship. Um. I think from I don't think it's just one thing, but the icebreaker for me was he got physical. Oh, physical. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's so that was right. like, you know, like I said, we was on and off for like 10 years. So when you hold on to something and you're like, OK, you're hoping for someone to change. But yeah, when it gets physical, I don't do that. So and you said he got physical. So what's one thing that you did wrong in that relationship? I attack back. That's one thing I think okay. I do like because yeah. I'm like very. Obviously, yeah. You need to hear both sides of the story to understand that. So obviously, she hit him. Maybe I, I don't tell him. Look, no matter what, you never hit a woman. That's one hundred percent. You, you, you. If you was raised by family and your mother raised you really good, you never put a hand on a woman. That's doesn't matter how 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 mad she is, how she insult. Exit the room and that's it. That's it. We dominate as well, so I don't but do too. The question of like, he says like, oh, uh, but what you did wrong, you maybe you give him an excuse. No, there is no excuse to, there is no excuse to hit some, to hit a woman. There is no excuse in that, no matter how much he had, there is no excuse. So whatever it is here, there is no excuse to hit a woman. Too well in control. I feel like a man should know how to be a man and right. a woman should know her place as well, but it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but I think it was just more so my mouth. Like, gotcha. I attack with my mouth, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So it's like, yeah, if you go low, I'm going to go low. Right. 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 I think that's my thing, <laughs> <laughs> you know? But that's, about, that's really it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. Let's go to our next lady. Name, age, and the answer to his questions. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. I'm 31. How you doing? And I just, I didn't want to be rude, but when you asked the question, I wanted to pop already. No, go ahead. <laughs> Why are you holding your balloon? Pop. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Why we popped in? Um, because I already know you're not gonna like it, but my last relationship was New Year's, January. So that's just. So you popped because you assumed that I wasn't gonna like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's so recent, and the other women, you know, it's been a couple years, and. Uh, nah, that ain't. You know, no you reason. know the healing process. It ain't. <laughs> oh, so you're not healed yet? No, I am, you but are? I'm just saying, I don't know. Maybe if it were She's me. She's not here yet. I don't know. She just want to forget yeah, her past relationship. Yeah, it'd be a problem, else. you know, just yeah. nah, you January. Can't stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you can't assume months. like that, yeah. Okay. I mean, that's I just fine. Assumed, <laughs> if you want to get know, your balloon back, you recent. could, but you don't have to assume like that. But even if you don't mind about that, like, I just feel like you're such a pretty boy. <laughs> like, I get, no, like, no, you're very handsome, very sexy. Definitely not a pretty boy. But I mean, like, I just get player vibes. Player it make vibes? me nervous. Yeah, like player. I get the player. So you project it. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, I just got you, the player right. vibes. No, I, I ain't gonna lie. If you would have said that, uh, if I was in my early twenties, then you know you would have been spot on. But nah, now I'm grown. Like you know, life You're is looking, more serious. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's more serious for me. How so, old like, are you? Yeah, I'm 34. Oh, 35. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. That's all right, girl. Don't worry. Assume. You popped. You Pretty popped. Stupid. <laughs> shouldn't assume. All That's what right. I hear. They assume so, they after ahead. hearing those responses, you know, hearing everything they had to say, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and have you pop uh, one girl's Ooh. balloon. So, let me give you a pick. Ooh, let's finish with it. There you go. Yeah. Just go ahead and pop one of theirs. Okay. It's oh, I have to go with you. Okay, why did we end up popping hers? Uh, I ended up popping because when I asked uh, what's one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong, it was kind of basically like you led with two things that he did wrong or the reason you felt like you did something wrong was because what he did. Mm. So, you know, I felt like it wasn't no accountability there. Okay. So that's only the Yeah, reason. she didn't take her. Okay. <laughs> and so why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? 
Um, initially, I like the things that you said. Um, I think we have a lot of things in common as far as what you like to do in your free time um, or a lot of things I like to do on my free time as well. Um, I think you're very well spoken. Um, I find you to be very attractive. I like your skin tone. I like your tattoos. I like how you speak. Um, you seem to know what you're looking for, mm -hmm. and I like that. So I just wanted to hear more. Thank you. Well, okay, go ahead and ask these ladies lady. another question. Another one, okay. Yes. Uh, based off your personality, name some intangibles you will bring into a relationship. Okay. Start right on here. What, what, what is this word? Okay, you said based off... Um, your personality, person. your character traits, you know, who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. Name some intangibles you will bring into a relationship. Um, I communicate well. Um, I I'm also a good listener um, and I'm I'm fun I'm kind of quiet but once uh, once you get to know me once I get comfortable I'm like I have a very fun personality and I like to go out have fun and I can you know bring good energy into the relationship um, especially being boring. trying to be boring okay Let's you go. look boring Let's go down here I'm sorry about this. She looks boring. Um, she something that I would bring into the relationship. I'm very nurturing. Um, I'm always going to be your number one fan. Like, that's just how I feel. Um, okay. I'm going to make you laugh. <laughs> I'm always trying to make somebody laugh. So, um, and then uh, just trying to figure out you, um, trying to figure out what you want, mm. um, trying to how to make you happy is that's what I would bring to, mm. to the relationship. Um, I would say I'm funny. Okay. I have great communication Definitely skills. You are. I love conversation. Um, that's one of my biggest things. So if you can't have a conversation with me, I'm just like that's just big for me. You know, we I like to talk. <laughs> so, um, I think you know, just being funny. Like I said, I'm spontaneous. Like I like to travel. Um, try new things. I'm optimistic. And I'm goal oriented. So I feel like as far as take it to the, what I can bring to the relationship, this. helping both of us with our goals and just staying, you know, on task and building, you know, future stuff. So yeah. Okay. okay time to pop another balloon. Pop, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, you y'all all gave great answers. Uh, yes. Damn, uh, <laughs> so I can't ask another one. Next round, you gotta next, pop one. Next round, okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna just go you right here. Obviously. Okay, why do we end up popping hers? Uh, it was more so on the, like, the first question I asked, mm -hmm. but like, she's like a little toxic. So, she yeah, gives she said time. that she, she he, he was abusive, she was abusive, so you know, I've been in relationships like that before and I ain't trying to double back on that. Yeah. I can understand that. I mean, that's part of growth and, you know, healing. So that was like six, seven years ago, six, 2018. Years. So, okay. yeah, I mean, and I, I respect it, you know, but I'm not toxic. You know, gotcha. it, takes, it takes toxic, you know, to, like nah, I said, I understand that. and I, I get it, you know, because I kind of bounce back off of him as well. So, yeah. but no, I don't do toxic. I like my peace. Yes. Got you, got you. <laughs> yeah. sure, sure. All right, no thank you. It was a long time ago. Okay, ladies, any questions for our guy grow, here? change. Oh, she was like Sorry, that. Now back. she changed. <laughs> do you have any children? I do. Okay. I'm going to have to pop. Okay. Um, the she reason was... why I'm popping is because um, for the husband that I want, I do want to experience that gotcha. um, together. And okay. that's something that I want both of us to have. So. You're going to experience okay. nothing. Yeah, that's just a date or two and mm -hmm. then go No, is, is she sit. someone that's your type? Yeah, she's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, she's cool. Thank you. Okay. Any questions over here? Yes, uh, a follow up to that. Uh, gotcha. How many children and how old? Uh, I have two. Uh, my son is 10 and my daughter, she'll be eight in November. Okay. Yeah. Do you have children? I don't. You don't? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that a problem for you, a deal breaker for you? No, um, the age would have been if they were younger. Younger, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. Um, where do you see yourself in like five years? Of course. Five they years. Have this question. Uh, five years. I see myself. You don't. Owning my you don't own know what's tomorrow going to happen. Mm -hmm. You want and, uh, me to see what's going to happen in five years? Uh, I don't know. To be honest, like, I know we all heard about the creation of Adam and Eve, so I'm just looking for my missing rib. So if I find her, I could build a foundation from her. You know, get a house, and then once I get a house with her, protect protect the house, provide for the house, you know, put my life on the line for her. So it's just like, I see myself 
being married with somebody and just being established. So that's like my that's like my ultimate goal. That's good, bro. Let me have you come on up here. Come on up. Let's go that way. Let's go that way. All right, guys. So I have a final question. If you guys are all good. I told you I don't like You have a final question? Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. (laughs) Is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. Ah, Is it a yes for you for her? Absolutely. We got a match. (laughs) I'll take this mic and you guys can go on up. Let's give it up for them guys. Oh. Thank you, everyone, for tuning into this episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. If you'd like to be featured in any of our upcoming oh, episodes, hey, the submission form long. will be in the I description box. I don't like bo- to do long videos, guys. I really don't like to do long videos. Now I need to s- impart or I'm, maybe I will just drop it directly because uh, I don't want to do too much editing in it. So much long. We'll just drop it directly. Just cut the publicity and stuff and just drop it. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. I'm telling you, this is kind of things that are not true. I don't believe in them. And I'm, what I'm saying is my opinion that I don't like these kind of things. And I don't believe you're going to find your one in these kind of places. The one that you're going to find is going to happen spontaneously. And that's how I believe in it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. You can subscribe, like, send me more suggestions if you have uh, anything. I will do a reaction of it no matter what it is. French, the language also is not a problem for me as much as there is subtitle for it. And yeah, you can send a super thank in the 